We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Jamie, this is Ben. You guys love food trends and we love talking about them. I'm away from home in a foreign land and you're feeding me things. I'm out of my comfort zone. Oh, that doesn't look good. <gasps> this is not how it would normally be served, but I wanted to put it in something the camera can see right through. Okay, I don't want it. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. It's kind of like a cloudy consomme. <laughs> Just don't know if that's a compliment. Oh, it smells appley. It tastes earthy. Has it got any root vegetables in it? It's got carrots, it's got celery, it's got fennel. It's Am I drinking fennel. stock? I'm drinking the beginning of a soup. I don't get any, any other flavours. Maybe because there's too many? I don't know. This is bone broth elixir. The, the flavour I picked out for the pair of you today is turkey, ginger and sage. Oh, you get that's what it is, sage. You can absolutely taste the sage. Yeah, the fact they called it elixir makes me worried, price-wise. And also, who's going to be buying this? The packaging is ridiculous. I like it, but it's ridiculous. And I'm self-aware enough to know that it's ridiculous that I like it. It's, it sounds like it's got good stuff in it. Nothing bad in it, that's the great thing. It's just vegetables. It's all the wonderful things you get from um, a long, slow bone broth. And I think this is why I picked it. Bone yeah. broths seem to be back on trend. I don't think I'd buy it to drink it like this, which I'm, I think is what it's meant to be. It tastes nice. Once you get your head around, you're drinking a broth, not a tea, or especially some yeah. sort of Pinot Grigio, but I am worried about what it's costing for that because you can make a bone broth, it's probably quite cheap and you also get a tasty dish out of it. Bad trend. It tastes good. Sell it like that. But you couldn't sell it for as much as that in this jar if you didn't, if you just called it turkey stock. How much is a jar like that, do you think? I tried to think, Ben. What about a $21? Okay, $21. Making it five dollars 5.25 per serving. Ah, oh, $21! There's going to be a selection of people who buy these things because they're like, oh, if I just add those to my diet, I'll have those things. But pack your diet full of great food that's fresh and full of great stuff. You'll probably see a difference to your life. I don't see how adding this to your diet will do that. And that's the only thing I, I have that's bad to say about it, apart from the price. I'd leave it alone. It's, it's really nice, like it tastes really good. It's just really expensive and doesn't do anything that it claims to do. So you'd leave it alone and make your own. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the bone alone. <laughs> Big mustardy sauce. But it looks like a vegan sauce. Oh, it's made of like bloody figs. Oh, good nose. I've had, I've had two slices and I feel like I don't need any more. Oh, spicy though. Once you get over the initial disappointment, it tastes all right. It is 100% plant-based fig salami. <laughs> why is it, why have they turned it into a sausage? It tastes like a fig with a bit of paprika. It was in the aisle with next to all the other sausages and salamis in the refrigerator section. It was not in the confectionery aisle. I'm trying to be so nice. Why are they making it so hard for me? Is it not just a form of preservation? The expiry date on this is the 30th of March, 2021. That is a long time away. And I imagine if you bought a salami or some charcuterie from France, they often have long shelf life. It's a way of preserving meat. Why can't you do that with figs? But maybe they're using the gimmick to sell it. And you bought it, so it works. I'm happy with that. It's a good product. I can't work out whether it's clever or gimmicky. Don't compare it to a pork salami, if it's not trying to be a pork salami. $9.50, does that ah! change anything? No, that's okay. $9.60, that feels like a lot of money. Okay then, great snacking or send it packing? Absolutely send it packing, personally. Great snacking and I'll send you packing. Oh, okay. So they're light. They're shelly. They taste like the hardest peanuts I've ever bitten into. 
fish and fish. Tastes a lot like a peanut. They're a nut. I picked this because it fascinated me. It is a nut and it's a nut I've never heard of. It is the Baru nut. Oh, the Baru nut, of course. Or Barucas. Snacks tend to be highly processed, often high in sugars and salts. So this is a healthy snack and they claim it's the healthiest nut in the world. <sighs> Yawn. How are you claiming that? 25% fewer calories than other nuts. Being less calories, I don't feel like that's a selling point. This is nature's food. This is what you should be eating. So they claim that they also provide an opportunity to sustain indigenous communities and traditions on their land. So areas of rainforest that are otherwise being attacked by deforestation. Are you a, are you a nut snacker? If I want some peanuts, I'll probably buy some dry roasted peanuts that are covered in terrible stuff and eat them because of flavour, not because of healthy snacking. However, for people who are looking for something different, I'd hope that they would be a craze. I don't think I'd buy them over anything else just because of the extra six grams of protein or three times antioxidant power. That pack was $5.50. Okay. So definitely more expensive than your average peanut or almond, but not extortionately so. I just think they might struggle to stand out in a highly saturated market. Potential craze or crazy? Potential craze is going a little bit too far, but I like them, so potential craze. <laughs> what you're seeing? Don't know what it is, it's red or pink or something. It doesn't quite taste of pasta pasta, but it doesn't taste too far away from pasta pasta. Texture, texture? Yeah, it's a bit more um, flowery. It is tasty actually. I'm going to give it it. It's got something to it, but I don't know if I can identify it. Obviously got some superfood ingredient in it. Oh, look at you guessing the superfood word already. Yeah. This is free to eat superfood purple rotini. They were just a list of words that mean nothing to me. It is free from eight of the top allergens, including wheat. It's a gluten-free pasta made from just four ingredients. Red lentils, beetroot, sweet potato, and carrot. I figured it would be like pasta with something added to it, but it's pasta with something taken away from it. And it tastes like pasta. It tastes good and the texture is good. Therefore, I am pleased. It does have a powdery sort of after texture at the end. And that's probably the only thing that slightly stands out about it but not in a bad way. You could have fed that to me and told me it was pasta and I've just gone, okay. Five times less carb than a regular fusilli and two times as much protein and that every portion will give you one of your five a day. $4.30 for a pack with four servings. Compared to pasta, it's a lot. I'll, I really think that's very good. I think that's gonna help a lot of people, which is cool. I can see why things like this are more readily available than in the UK. So the big question. Here we go. Fad or not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's a decent product. It's really good. That's bad, <laughs> but this is not bad. What? Oh. <laughs> oh it smells of, I don't know, but not, not something that I want to drink. I'll be honest, this is the type of thing that I was expecting from this video, considering that we're currently in Los Angeles. Weird coloured drinks that claim to do amazing things for either your guts, your bum, or your skin. Interesting you say that. This one, good for digestion, skin well-being, and detox. It's amazing what looking at something changes your perception so much. It's a lot sweeter than I expected. It's got really recognisable flavour. Has it got apple in it? I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> I'm drinking it and it's drinkable and I can't tell why I'm, if I'm not enjoying it because of the colour. I think it's the aroma. Like I get a big sniff of something that I don't want to drink. What is it? This is a supercharged lemonade. This one is more of a supercharged helps with digestion. It's a combination of chugga mushroom, activated charcoal and lemon and they're naturally sweetened with uh, monk fruit. So this is part of the increasing mushroom craze. Four Sigmatic do a number of mushroom coffees, teas, um, shooters. This is their lemonade mix. They claim that mushrooms do three things. They help you think. 
they improve your immune system and or they help you chill out depending on which mushrooms, which drinks, which time of the day you consume them. I've used their lion's mane mushroom coffee in the morning as a replacement for coffee because it gives you less of a buzz because it's got less caffeine. Um, supposedly all the beneficial neurological benefits of the mushrooms help you stay focused and increase energy and stuff like that. The only reason you'd replace normal coffee with mushroom coffee is if you're looking to reduce caffeine and stuff because let's face it, normal coffee tastes better. I didn't really feel any difference and it's supposed to be like supercharged compared to coffee with like less caffeine. That little pot there, $30. Okay. A food trend or does it offend? <laughs> It's not worth drinking something, like that much of something, for your health if you don't like it. Unless it's like 100% improvement. It definitely doesn't offend. It offends. It offends you. I'm surprised. Some of those were brand new to us, but keep talking to us. Comment down below which food topics are important to you. You might have noticed we've been travelling, well, quite a lot lately. Now that we're back in London, we've been adding all of the favourite places that we found to eat onto the Sorted Eat app which is available to sort of club members. It gives you awesome recommendations, some experiences, some freebies, so that when you travel to the same places we have been, you can enjoy them too. If you want to get all the information on the Eat app and everything available to club members, all the information is down below. But now you're waiting for a dad joke. I'm sure some of you by now would have noticed that I've got a slightly puffy eye. I'm trying to rack my brains to figure out how I got it. I think I figured it out. Uh-oh. Got stabbed in the eye with a pickle yesterday. That sounds painful. Yeah, I'm hoping I won't go brined. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I like yeah, those you ones. like that one. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. This is not how it would normally... <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!